Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Monday. We are one week away from the Super Bowl. Not really one week. We're six days. I got something serious. We got to go for it, man. Let's go for it. Has anybody seen my glasses? My sunglasses. I left here. I went by my mother's house. Yeah. Then I went to the bar. Yep. That's last Monday. Wednesday. Last Wednesday, Wednesday okay. when we shot the promos for the wings and stuff. I looked in the kitchen. I looked in the office. Called my mom. Came called right you. Here. You said they were here, but they I, really were. I remember them sitting right there. I think right they're there. at the pawn shop now, probably. Yeah, I remember them sitting right there on the on the deal, but I couldn't remember if you picked them up or not. I remember them like when you told me that, but that is a serious question. I mean, that's a serious deal of not being able <clears throat> To find your sunglasses. So yesterday in the shower, I get soap in my eye or something. I scratch my eye, scratch my eyeball. I see that. So it's red. All day yesterday, I got a damn gl glare in my eye. Don't have any sunglasses to put on. Walked around crying all day. I think like this because I don't have any sunglasses. So do you have now? A, I'm crying again because I don't have. Any that sunglasses. is true. But do you have an extra pair that you just? Kind of like if, if you a go to like if you well you I used to but you don't have them anymore. They're probably packed up somewhere. I have had these. You bought me a new pair. Yep. And I only wear those when I go out. Well, I mean they look like this, but I, I will only wear them if we go somewhere nice because these are stretched out because of my fat head. Have and you ever looked through an old screen door that the screens kind of busted? I, That's what looking through them glasses are like. <laughs> I wish y'all could, if y'all ever run into him on the street, ask to look, try to look through those glasses. Y'all, it's not good, man. It really ain't. It's scratched up. They've, and somebody said, you even said it, why don't you just buy another lens? I'm like, man, I'm cheap. I will not spend $40. I think it was like $60. Yeah, you cheap. heard that. I bought him another pair of glasses. Yeah. It's for my birthday. No, for Christmas. Something. I haven't got them. I still got them in the black case. I'll bring them out when it's, it's like Pulp Fiction, when you open the deal, it's like, whoa. And the light comes on. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Uh, so Super Bowl. I do not like the L.I. It looks stupid, doesn't it? I do I, not I, like I made it. a comment the other day about it, and. Don't, I cannot. <clears throat> and that's the only, I looked it up to see what it was, and. Are we out of X's? Yeah. Well, until you get back to 60. Then it'll go L I X to get the fifty nine or whatever. Okay. But that's the reason they changed it and used the actual number fifty last year because the L looks so stupid by itself. There you go. I totally <laughs> agree with that. They couldn't put. I understand. You could. You yeah. have to have. You got that. It looks stupid. So they did the fiftieth anniversary as. Uh, that does not look good. <clears throat> over and under. Mert sent me a, 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 he won the deal last week. Won it on Friday. Won the lunch. And uh, he came down to the backyard Saturday. That does he was not going to get him something to eat. I said, get him something to eat on us. Right. And he went, nope. I'm waiting on the wings Thursday. Oh, we're going to use them. So he wants to use them for okay. the wings on Thursday. We will allow Mert to do that. And I have been pushing those wings to everybody because they're that good. They are good. But he sent me a, a joke and I deleted it. And uh, I'm seeing, trying to see. I just text him and ask him to get another joke another back. One. Those wings <laughs> are good. I'm not going to lie. And I am a, I can eat, and those wings are really good. And I had, I had tried them before, but not like when we sat in there. And uh, I like our commercial. Where are they at? Is the uh, voiceover done? We sent it over to uh, Jim to get the, the voiceover part done. He's going to watch them and time it to where it goes into the theme song afterwards. And then we'll get those out there. Y'all are going to like those. Y'all are going to like those. So, we have went, what's your favorite movie? We have done, what's your favorite song? Today, and I swear to God, if people put, they keep doing this. Today is, you only got one. What's your favorite food? Spaghetti. That you could eat. I finally found, finally one I could answer like that. Every day, 
What is it? And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm 100% with you. Spaghetti. And I know this is going to sound stupid because my woman watches. She's like, I just, I don't know how you do it. It gets better as the days go on. As it sits in that refrigerator the next morning. Until the spaghetti gets a little sour. That's true. It has stayed in there that long. But, but try not to let usually that it doesn't. Now, I know that people are going to go, oh, I never do that. I know you do this. There is nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. But a little bump and grind. Walking through the next morning, getting up, and just grabbing a fork. And just getting you a oh. little twirl, a little bite, shutting it, putting it back, and moving on. Why don't we get along so well? Woo! Spaghetti. Spaghetti is also mine. I would not, I could eat it every single day. What is your food that you could eat every day? I'm going to bet spaghetti's on a lot of lists. I know it's on hopes. Pizza's on a lot of lists. A lot of people dig pizza. Yeah, I a know. A lot of people dig pizza. Uh... I wonder if you'll I'll get... tell you what would be after that for me, and it would be a meal that I could eat every day, but now that I'm getting older, I can't, I don't ever eat it. Fried chicken, mashed potatoes and gravy, and ranch style beans. That brings me back to my grandmother. That, you know, fried steak or fried, oh, I could eat seven chickens, seven fried chickens, not like a drumstick, like the whole damn chicken. Man, that's, that's a tough one. <clears throat> To eat, a, to eat a meal. If I, had, mm. if I had to eat a meal, that that would be... I, I wish you had a little chow chow you could mix in there. You ever, y'all ever had that relish called uh, chow chow? No. I don't oh. think so. I don't know. I don't. Ooh. My next meal, my next thing that I could eat every day, and I know that you went meal, is a sandwich. But with lettuce and tomato. Lettuce and tomato. Yeah, a real sandwich. Ham and cheese, lettuce, tomato. <clears throat> and I'm talking... This big. And if you're watching this show and you're one of those, I just want meat and bread, Ugh. no sandwich spread, no, no, no. turn the show off. You are not I, allowed you to You cannot watch be anymore. friends with us. No. There is no way. When I see people do a fold over and they still don't put nothing on oh. it, I, I'm like, wasting my time looking around. Plain yeah. and dry. Oh, I, I give, uh, no. I'm going to give a shout out today to our buddy Matt in Phoenix. Matty Motorcycle, I have him in my phone. He sent me a picture last night of Leroy, who, and I'll give y'all a quick deal, and showed him running on the golf course. I had a dog, American Pit Bull, and I couldn't, I couldn't, he couldn't travel with us. And Matty was, we were running the hot spot and everything, and Matty was still working at the motorcycle place and living out on the golf course. I said, Matty, you got it. Will you take him, man, please? Matty went, I'll take him. And he's been with Matty since. <clears throat> I get a picture every Christmas. Yep. Do y'all get one? Yeah. And so uh, guns older? No. Looks like me. He sent it, and we we were having trouble with the mail getting delivered. Right. And they returned it. And he went, dude, I sent it to 32, you know. And I went, that's it. We were just having trouble with it. So he took the time to resend it. Good job, Matty. Good guy. And <clears throat> good dad to Leroy. Big shout out right Leroy's there. got to be. Leroy's up old. there. He's up there. Oh, Leroy's up there. Good dog, too. Big shout out. All right. <clears throat> lunch special's up. But why don't you tell them what the lunch special, why we, this is such a big lunch special today. Well, it's big lunch specials all week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a new menu coming out. Uh, some of our food providers are taking our menu, revamping it. Revamping it. Making it look better. <laughs> How? I don't know. I, you did a great job. Yes. <clears throat> I don't like some of the ideas they're doing, but I'm going to let them run with it because they're printing them all for free. Right. Good job. So, we have all chosen a dish. Right. Or something. So, today is the Sleazy Cheesy, or BB Sleazy Cheesy Sloppy Joe. Brian Brown, Sloppy Joe. Get it? Yep. And it is sleazy and cheesy and greasy. I got two things. One, if you're watching your calorie intake, this might be the only meal you will eat for the day. Yes. And two, if you need a good poop, this might be the meal to have. Yes. Uh, it's like drinking that magnesium yeah. stuff probably. No, so, it, it's no. dang good. Big Texas toast. It big is. deal. And then tomorrow's yours. Yep. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Wait for tomorrow because it's a special one. Okay. 
It's a special one. But today, BB's Sleazy Cheesy Sloppy Joe. That's going to be good. That's going to be real good. Yeah, come on. we got to get down there. we got a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going on. Got new cameras up. I'm excited about that. Excited I need to show you how to work them. I do not have any idea how to do that. But I'm going to get out of here. Watch it. Like it. Share it. I forgot to say that. Why don't we do this? Come into the week. Why don't we do, me and Chris, it'll be Chris's uh, money. We're going to give away a $100 bill, Chris is, and we're going to do the, the you got to pick the Super Bowl winner, and you got to pick the score. So, Patriots 24, Falcons 17. Okay. Not whoever's the closest, you got to get on it. And we will give away a hundred dollars of Chris's money. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go find a hundred dollars. <laughs> Till tomorrow. I am Russ. This is Chris, and we are out.